Sean Christopher, and you're checking out yourmusicmyworld.com. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. For readers who are new to you, who is Sean Christopher? Um, Sean Christopher is a rapper slash producer from uh, Inglewood, California. Um, basically, with the with the sole purpose of wanting to change how how West Coast music is being viewed. I um, mean, in the past, it's been all all, all gangster rap, but you know, hopefully. To, my music, I can show uh, another side of Los Angeles area to, um, you know, to the world. Well, how did you get your start into music, and how long have you been performing? Um, well, my, my mom was a single mother, and so uh, she, she put me in a bunch of after-school programs. When I was in second grade, uh, she put me in these, these uh, drum classes, mm-hmm. where, I, where I kind of learned uh, music, like rhythm, uh, bars, how to count measures, and everything, and from then on, I was in my, my school band, my advanced band, jazz band, everything, um, until I graduated high school. So I learned music theory and everything. I learned how to produce. And, you know, I, I really wanted to rap over my own stuff. I did a bunch of assemblies when I was in high school, and I, I, I caught that bug that everyone's, you know, when you hop on stage. And, you know, I was just like, okay, I, I really want to be, and I was thrilled with this. After I graduated school, I went to college, and I really started to really learn more about the music industry and, you know, just kind of put out my own project uh, via the internet. Well, what artists do you see as your primary inspiration? Uh, my primary inspiration, inspiration it would have to be uh, Tupac Shakur, um, Pharrell Williams, um, Miles Davis, uh, Michael Jackson, or the, the, Michael Jackson and everything that hit the Quincy Jones did, I think, was, was remarkable. I would have to be actually five. Uh, those are kind of the ones that really inspired me to really do what I was doing um, when I first started out. So tell us more about your album, You and Only You. It's um, <laughs> You and Only You. It, it, it actually uh, came out at the beginning of uh, December, and the, the whole title of the project came out um, came about with a conversation between me and, and uh, one of my best friends. It, it happened like a, a few years ago. I, I put on this show, and it kind of didn't go as well as I wanted it to go, and I kind of was like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to go back to school and start focusing on music, and my friend asked me um, if I was the only one to believe in my dream, but I still continue doing it. I was like, yeah, he's like, well, then this is, this is what you believe in. Don't worry who believes in it and who doesn't. You know, all you have is yourself, and you know, not everyone has that friend that can tell them that, so I want to have the job doing on you to tell other people who may not have things like that, you know, as long as you have yourself, you're, you're Good to go. Well, being that you are a producer, how many songs on the album did you produce by yourself? Uh, by myself, three. Okay. Um, and who's... then um, I have a uh, production from uh, a really good friend of mine by the name of Cameron Wallace, mm-hmm. and uh, another from uh, one of my best friends, Zaire, and then one uh, song produced by this guy uh, named Caviar, who's an amazing producer. He did uh, one of the last tracks on the, on the album. And then everything else, you know, was pretty much done with me and in house and mixing and putting everything together myself. Well, what do you think your biggest break or biggest opportunity has been so far in your career? Ah uh, man, I think that one of the biggest things to to, to have, I mean, there's so many things, man. You know, to, from having like a video on on, on BET, you know, was was really amazing. Um, to have you know, my mom tell me that her friends. Saw me and just, just to hear how excited my mom was about the whole thing was probably like one of the biggest things for me to actually take music from being from recording in my bedroom to the internet to not actually being on you know, music that's shown worldwide was actually like one, of the, one of the biggest things that happened to me so far in my young career. Well, as a new artist, is there anything special that you hope to be able to accomplish? Ah, uh, man. I really, um, want to, like I said, just change how West Coast hip hop is being viewed. I think that was, that's, that's kind of like my, my main focus when it comes to, to why, why I do what I do. And I, you know, I just want to hopefully, with me being, like,
like you said, a, a, a new artist, other other new artists who may may not be as far in their career as, as I am can can see that if you do your own and be yourself, you, you don't ever have to conform to um, anyone else's ideas. You can just do your own thing and everything and succeed in it. Well, how does Sean Christopher define success? Uh. You know, I, I was having a conversation the other day, and you know, a, a lot of people define uh, success monetarily, but I've always defined it where if, you know, after after, I, after everything's said and done, I do whatever, everything is that I want to do in life, if when I pass away, one person is is affected by my death that I've never met or ever had a conversation with that I, I, I consider my life a, a success. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I was able to reach someone that I've never even been in the same room with. And they were, they were affected by my passing that lets me know that I was actually a success. So I think that's one of the main ways I've, I've been able, I'll be able to tell you know, success in, in my eyes. Well, what type of image do you think your music conveys to people? Uh, man, I think that when, when people hear my music, they hear um, something fresh, something you know, that, that you can't really pinpoint as, as in one particular sound. You know, I think it's one of the, one of the best things I get one of the best questions I get is, okay, you know, I listen to your music, so where are you from? Mm-hmm. And I think that's, that's one of the best things ever to, to know that people can listen to my music and not know where, I, where I'm from, man. So I think my music not being regional, um, regional sounding is one of, you know, one of my, my top, you know, um, compliments, I think. And I think that people really get that when they listen to my music is they get they hear a new sound that they can't really pinpoint a particular artist in the past or a particular style that's going on right now. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's kind of what, what I really try to do just with every song, with every project, kind of read it myself. Um, would it be like different ways to sing melodies, different ways to rap songs, and just um, always reinventing myself and staying fresh. Being a producer, how, have, how do you think your sound has evolved since you start rapping musically and lyrically? Oh, wow. Um, you know, I think that rapping, songwriting, production, you know, it's, it's all the same as, you know, anything that you do, whether, you know, like uh, playing basketball or, or riding a bike. It's like the, the more you do it, the, the better you, you you are at it. Um, it's kind of like, you know, with me, I, I equate me writing songs to like, you know, me being in the, in, in the gym and shooting a thousand that, you know, for a back home to go in the gym and shoot a thousand jump shots in a day, I think in a month, his jump shot is a lot better than it was at the beginning of the month. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I can see that, that my music is you know, a lot better now than it was even as, as short as a few months ago because I practice more. I write more, and you always find, you know, different ways to work, different things. And so with, with more, more practice, um, you know, comes comes better songwriting and production. Well, what song on this album really defines who you are as an artist? Uh, I think that um, who I am as an artist, I think, will be most probably uh, most defined with the, the, the second track of the album entitled uh, Be Famous. Mm-hmm. Because as a, as a songwriter, you know, you can't put those verses on any other songs and those verses make sense. Like, those, those verses were meant for this song only. Like, I wrote it's a, a record, a full record, and not just sixteen and, and some choruses. Every word on there entails to telling a story about how I feel about fame. Mm-hmm. And so I think as a songwriter, that does it. As, as as a producer, you know, from from the the, the drums, you know, how bass heavy they are, to the very ending where I brought my boys out here to um, play the actual piano key at the end of the song and make it really artistic, make it a real soulful song. I think that whole thing, that whole package from the instrumentation to the words is, um, really shows who I am as an artist. <clears throat> okay. Well, what did you start off first with? Did you start off rapping first or did you start off with producing? Uh, I started off rapping first, just like being in class, joking around with my friends and writing different raps here and there when I was a kid and, and, and in my bedroom and writing this thing. And, um, you know, you can only rap over, over different you know, because back then, you know, it wasn't that easy to find instrumentals. Mm-hmm. And so you, you were, I, I would just rap to, like, beatboxing, my friends beatboxing and things like that. And I was like, you know, I really want to make some songs. And, you know, we, we didn't really know any producers. We were coming up in school. There was one producer, but he did, like, the real super, super gangster records and stuff like that. And he was charging. I didn't have money for beats, and I wasn't super gangster. So it was kind of like 
if I want to make my own records, I seriously have to make my own records. And so, you know, in high school is when I started producing. Well, now that your album is out, what else can we expect from you in the um in the near future? In the near future, um, you know, I, it was funny. I, I just had a, a conversation with uh, a DJ Green Lantern like a few days ago. We just randomly decided to put out a a, a, a mixtape um, to drop February 28th. And we're going to be we're going to drop a mixtape February 28th out of nowhere. We're not trying to do like big promotion about it and everything. We just want to drop it, put it out there for, for people to see what we continue to ask for, for new music. So we're going to drop a few freestyles out there at the end of the month. And then uh, we're working on a tour, planning a tour for the spring. And, you know, basically that's, you know, tour, more shows, uh, a, a bunch of festivals like South by Southwest, a bunch of shows there. And doing uh, production for a, a bunch of artists, a lot of main lab artists as well. So really trying to broaden my horizon this, this year and have my hand in everything. Well, where can you see yourself in five years from now? Uh, five years from now, wow. <laughs> um, five years from now, I will, I will have a couple plaques in my in, in my career whether it be mine or be doing production for other people's albums, which means that I would have either have had a Grammy nomination or have already have a Grammy in my living room to show people as they walk as they walk through. And, you know, um, five years from now I think that, you know, if I haven't already I'll be going on my first world tour, you know, doing shows in other countries. Um, you know, I think I like I, when that comes, I really can't wait for that because music is something that just transcends all languages. It, it can break down any barriers, and I think that having a world tour is like the, the sign of like you, you're made it. You're you've you've been in, in this music industry. So over five years from now, we'll be there planning and just coming off a world tour. Okay. Well, before we wrap things up, is there anything that you want fans to know? Ah oh, man. I just, uh, they said, I just want to just thank them. You know, if it wasn't for them, I, we wouldn't even be on the phone right now. And I just want, want people to know that I really do take music seriously. I'm not, I'm not a guy who's in it to flip the shit dollars and get, get one hit song and, and, and be out the game. Like, I really want to change some things in this industry. And I really want, I really think I have a guy giving gifts and that, you know, God put me here for a reason to, to, to talk about certain issues. And I, I really wish to express them as much as I can. So, let people know that, you know, whenever I have new products, I should really check it out because I really, you know, put my, my heart and soul into them. 